Hey guys, build report for the Hot Chili Con Fuzz. Um, before I do anything, I just want to go through a couple of things, so a little bit different for the start of this one. I want to see what that trim pot does. I said in the build report, I think it's for probably something to do with gain because it's on the emitter of Q3, um, so we'll just test that. And I'll just show you the knobs as well. Got a bit of a loose connection going on. I think maybe one of the transistors or something inside. You can see there's a bit of noise coming through because they're just sitting there in the sockets. It's a good idea to actually, once, you, once you're happy with, the, with your effect, to hot glue those in if you are using sockets for a lot of things because they, they can just flip around the place. So first things first, the knobs. I mean, listen to that. That's a pretty, <laughs> that's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty awesome sounding fuzz. It's, it's heavy as. I'm in drop D of course, which helps the situation, but still. So this is the tone control. And I like it because it's not too extreme. A lot of tone controls just go from ridiculously bass, bassy to ridiculously trebly. And you just have settings on there that you're just never going to use. I'd rather something that was a bit more fine-tuned to a, to a range that I would actually use. And I would use it on full, and I would actually use it on 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 uh, on none. Uh, none? Yeah, none. Sounds great. And then if we flip it right back down. Okay, so that one's a bit more extreme, but it still gives it a bit of a metally edge. So that's the tone control, I'll just stick it in the middle for the moment. This is the volume control. Not overly exciting, but it has got plenty of, um, has got plenty of, uh, 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 volume. And then the distortion. Sorry, I meant to say gain. Once again, it's usable throughout the whole range. Gets a little bit noisy um, on the on the full. Could be because the back is off the um, off the pedal as well. But yeah, that's the gain control. So let's have a look at the bias control now. Just wanted to check out what that bias control uh, wasn't a bias control. I think it was a gain control that we saw in the build report actually does. I said I think it was a was a gain control because it's on the emitter of Q3, um, which usually means it has something to do with gain. So let's have a look what it actually does. And then I'll put the back back on because it is a very high gain fuzz. It's gonna, it's gonna create more noise having the back off than what I'd like. So I'll put the back back on again, the back back. So let's have a listen to what it does. It's kind of tricky doing this with one hand. interesting so to me it actually sounds a bit like a bias control where it starts to cut out um, so I guess I think I have it on minimum at the moment it's pretty much not even there and that sounded the best to me cutting out some people like it when it's sort of uh, you let go of the cord and the signal stops straight away um, and that sounds pretty good but for me that sounded really it sounded very hot so I'm gonna keep it the way that it is Hi guys, build report for the, ah, very funny. No, so we just had a look at the bias control and um, yeah, like I said, I think I've got it on minimum and it sounds pretty pretty damn good. Um, so we'll, I'll go over the knobs next. Um, well, I can just show you now. That's volume, tone and gain. And the tone and the gain have not, what's the word? It's got a very usable range of, uh, I, know, I know a lot of gain controls and a lot of tone controls are just, 
they're just extremes that you'd never use, but I can imagine using the extremes of this of these two controls, the gain and the and the and the tone. Um, you could actually use the extremes. It, it, it's 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 very usable. So it turns out to be some sort of bias control. Really, could be it could be a gain control that's sort of messing with the bias of the transistor as well. Um, but either way, just put your trim pot on there and adjust till you find the spot that you like. One note too. I probably should have mentioned this in the build report. See the power, I put the power on the input. That's not usually recommended. I'm fairly certain it's not usually, yeah. You usually don't want, you usually don't want power near your input. And um, I can't give you a technical reason, but what I always figured was because if you get interference on your input, you've got to imagine your input usually, particularly with gain, usually ends up down here. So if you've got some sort of, like if this is your input and the power is interfering with it and you've got a little bit of a ripple, what's going to happen after it's been, after the, after the signal has been, has been boosted, what's going to happen to the ripple that was small down here? It's going to end up bigger on the output. So it's best to actually, that's why it's best to put the power, keep it away from the input, everywhere in the pedal, not just the, not just the socket. Of course, if the socket's there, then the wiring is going to be close to the input as well. So you actually want to put it on the output, keep it all away. That's usually recommended, particularly for high gain fuzz pedals. So I don't know, maybe I'm going to get a little bit of extra noise from making that. Um, it wasn't really a mistake, it was kind of being a little bit lazy. Um, but yeah, let's have a listen to it a bit further anyway. Really kick ass fuzz.
So that is it for the hot chili con fuzz. One little note before we um, conclude the video. Um, you may have noticed quite a lot of uh, noise in the top part of the gain controller. I tried to demonstrate that. I got a feeling that's oscillation. I've had it before in a couple other, a couple other pedals and it comes back to the power being too close to the input. Um, so you can get around that by keeping the power away from your input signal. Um, usually helps the situation. Or it could be because I had the back off the pedal as well. Um, I'm not, I can't remember if it actually makes that much noise. Or it could be the actual bias control as well. It might, might have an effect on the actual um, noise in the last part of the gain control. So I hope I did a decent job demonstrating what the pedal sounds like. And, um, and yeah, um, I hope you like it. I do. Uh, I mean, playing kind of metally sort of stuff with a fuzz pedal, who would have thought? But it certainly lends itself to that, I think. Um, you can almost get away with it. Um, and it certainly makes me want to play heavy, loud stuff. Which is what life is all about. Peace, brothers.